All right, here we are at our 1971 Silver Queen, 12 by 35 foot fiberglass hull houseboat for sale, along with this uh, approximately 12 by 37 foot dock. We're here on beautiful Norris Lake, Tennessee. Now, uh, it, I should point out that this houseboat has been registered um, into the floating cabin program. Uh, this at one time was a, uh, uh, a navigable houseboat. It's powered by a uh, Chrysler. Uh, well, it looks like a small block V8 inboard outboard stern drive engine. However, that is no longer operational. And the owners have taken advantage of the uh, floating cabin regulations and enrolled this into the floating cabin program. So this is registered as basically a 12 by 30 foot floating cabin connected uh, or with a 12 by 37 foot attached dock. Um, do have basic lumber, lumber decking and about a uh, three foot by four foot shed on the back corner. And for the uh, flotation on this dock, we do have the um, styrofoam floats. While, we're, while I'm here, there's a uh, four-step swim boarding ladder. So basically, the, uh, all that styrofoam would need to be replaced with encapsulated flotation by the year 2031. Um, now, this lumber has been stained, the lumber decking here, but um, a lot of times for uh, the docks, it's easier to just completely rebuild this sometime between now and the year 2031, whenever you want to put the new flotation under there. And then we would highly uh, recommend when you do have this rebuilt, do either galvanized steel frame or aluminum frame in between that, uh, the new style encapsulated flotation and your decking. That'll give you a much longer lasting uh, structure. Patio furniture is included here. Small little picnic table, umbrella. And this uh, four foot by three foot shed is not actually an outhouse that the uh, that little crescent moon might give you the impression of this is actually the uh, uh for your water maker system so we've got a lake water pump here essentially it's a well water pump that's going to pull lake water up um, they were smart enough to kind of plumb in a shut off for that lake water intake and a uh, place where you can um, plumb in antifreeze whenever it does come time to winterize um, then that's going to run through a uh, filter and then a uv light and then it's leaving the uh exiting out the side of this a uh, little storage shed and going right down into plumbing the boat. Now there is shore power connected here to this uh, walkway or uh, to our dock here um, and that's what this little uh, pedestal is for. Now that would have to meet an electrical requirement that's due by October of uh, 2024 uh, which calls for a 100 milliamp uh, essentially a GFCI installed where that power leaves shore before it heads out here to the dock. Um, now again with this houseboat being enrolled in the floating cabin program um, this would be a good candidate to simply remove the, ca uh, the boat. Um, you do have to demolish it or uh, you can recycle what you can but this is a fiberglass hull so there's not going to be much of a scrap value here but basically you would remove the houseboat um, with uh, prior approvals from TVA obviously um, and then once you've shown them evidence that it has been removed from the lake and destroyed they will give you uh, or grant you uh, uh, the permits that you need in which to rebuild this and re uh, essentially replace it with a floating cabin. So uh, before I do step on the deck here I do want to call your attention we've got uh, basically some exposed wood um, underneath that uh, fiberglass we've got I believe this is Duraback a Duraback coating on top of this fiberglass decking here um, and the same is up on the roof um, and that's an attempt to kind of seal out the moisture um, on this deck here but um, there are some soft spots um, on the deck um, maybe two areas in the roof so again in, in time you would want to simply replace this um, houseboat with a floating cabin. Now the cabin does have to remain the same um, footprint. So you've got a 12 by 35 foot hole in which to work with. 
Um, here on the rail we have a blue Rhino propane uh, gas grill and my little table and chairs. We've got um, stereo speaker out here on the uh, porch and some updated LED lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and head down the walkway here. Now the cabin of this comes in right about, um, about, about a 9 by I believe it's about a 9 by 26 and a half or 27 foot cabin. Uh, comes in just under 200 square feet of interior living space here with the way that it's currently set up. Alright, so here's our helm and again uh, this is no longer navigable uh, but you do have the old Silver Queen 35 uh, gauges here uh, with your uh, speedometer or your tachometer, battery bolts, or oil pressure, engine water temp, and an old uh, engine hour gauge. We do have a VHF radio. This does still uh, operate and turn that on right there. Slide your channels down. Go down to the uh, NOAA weather band right there. Um, an old Ray Jefferson uh, depth finder. This is uh, this is no longer operational. We've got some newer vinyl flooring installed. Now this is a uh, basically convertible uh, sofa here, and we'll have photographs of this uh, where it is made into a bed. Basically, if you can see this framing right here, those cushions are going to slide over and fill that area in to give you, <clears throat> excuse me, give you a second. Um, sleeping space. Um, here we do have a dual. This is a AM FM CD stereo. We've got two speakers on this or connected to this. Got a power up for you. I, I do think we had a little bit of a low voltage on our 12 volt battery power. Again, convertible, uh, a little uh, dinette and here's what that Rizzer would have been calling the Silver Queen but a um, little convertible um, sofa here. We've got a small little Sanyo LCD HD television DVD player and then we've got a, uh, a GE 6000 BTU window air conditioning unit. Now we're gonna drop down about three steps here down into the Lower level, got some updated countertops and uh, stainless sink here in our little galley. Magic Chef stainless microwave and a Magic Chef refrigerator. Now here is our head compartment where we have a marine head. That's a macerator toilet. Now again on Norris Lake, every, all of your wastewater goes into a waste holding tank. They will come out to the cabin and pump out your holding tank um, on a schedule. Um, essentially they'll do that every, every two weeks during season from about April to October. Um, here at this particular location, your waste pump outs go for $600 for the season. A little walk-in shower here and some LED lighting um, overhead. Small little vanity sink, integrated medicine cabinet, and they just happen to be running a little dehumidifier here in the bathroom as well. There is a uh, approximately 50 gallon waste holding tank for your uh, uh, for that marine head there. And if I head just forward, I'm gonna stop and show you in our uh, small little storage closet, pantry, utility closet, broom closet. It's a little bit of everything here. There's your. Uh, of your main uh, disconnect breakers. We've got some small appliances in here, coffee maker and a toaster. Um, and then right down here, this would be kind of a crawl in cutty. Now they um, they have um, ran some of this uh, newer flooring um, up into this cutty area. Again, this crawl in cutty base, so this is just underneath that um, um, helm area where that dinette was. It's got a little bit of foam underneath underneath this vinyl floor in here and essentially just plywood under that but that's why that that vinyl floor is a little bit wrinkled there um, and here's where that 50 gallon waste holding tank is that is the uh, the plastic polypropylene 
waste holding tank. And then if we turn towards the stern of the boat, well, beyond our uh, bathroom, and here is our uh, master master bed. Plenty of lighting all the way around. We got some 12 volt lights integrated overhead. And this would be a 110 um, light. I believe that's LED bulb in there over here on this side. Pair of fans throughout, small little um, storage cabinet. And then also we have some integrated storage underneath of this um, bed back here. Also have some um, outlets integrated up here um, at the headboard of your master bed. Got uh, basically two, uh, two 110 outlets on either side along with a pair of USB outlets. All right. That's gonna about do it for the interior of this one. Again, this is that 1971 Silver Queen slash 193 square foot floating cabin. And fiberglass whole house boat for sale. All right, we're gonna go through this sliding door here. I'll walk down the side here. Show you the uh, the rear deck and the rooftop. All right, so here's our uh, original engine room. Back when this was a navigable boat, there's that uh, Chrysler inboard outboard stern drive engine. Um, this is equipped with a pair of 50 gallon freshwater tanks. Um, those are just no longer um, in service because you've got your own uh, water maker system here with um, that's uh, basically just on demand makes makes potable water as you uh, as you need it. Um, now if anybody's thinking about um, you know fixing this engine up and making it a navigable boat again um we will save you some trouble here this this transom is soft and this is not going to be a worthwhile project um, so this is this is really only value um or, or has little to no value as a boat but it does as a floating cabin so second um 50 gallon freshwater tank right over here on this port side if you look under the uh under the sheet there at this uh, old Chrysler that has been retired. And then we do have a um, electric water heater that I uh, believe at one time, yeah, at one time that would have been a dual source water heater. Um, but that is uh, that is uh, electric powered and there's your uh, switch for it right here. And I'm, I'm, we're gonna estimate that about a 15 gallon um, water heater. We did function test that. It seems to be doing an um, adequate job making making hot water. Now we've got a small little uh, integrated swim platform with a uh, basically a fold down two step swim boarding line there. Again, we've got that catwalk all the way around. We're going to take these uh, couple steps up here to our rooftop. And again, we have a uh, Duraback roof coating up here. Uh, but there, there is a um, at least one crack in the uh, the roof surface up here, and that will need some attention to prevent moisture from leaking into the cabin of the boat. There's the uh, exterior side of that window air unit, and rooftop up here. Okay, that, that might be the crack, but that's actually solid right there. So maybe just the one right there towards the center of this roof here. Give you another look over here at our uh, attached float. We'll have some exterior photographs of this one at our website, which is where you're also going to find the most up-to-date information we'll have all the specs and particulars about this one actually let me go ahead and walk down this port side here Give the full 360 degree tour uh, but again if you go to our website that's where you're going to find the current asking price 
full list of features and specifications um and all and uh and as well as all of our contact informa information we do not monitor the youtube comment page so if you do have any questions about this one if you want to set up a time to come see it in person all you have to do is reach out to us through our website which is at www.yournewboat.com now for your convenience down in the video description we will have a direct link to this one that will take you right to the listing page where you're going to see all the particulars on this one all those dimensions that we referenced um it all be there as well as all of our contact information where you'll be able to reach out to us by phone by text or by email we always do like to remind you if you call us on the phone and get our voicemail we'd like a return phone call all you've got to do is leave us a message we're frequently in areas without cell phone reception so if you don't take the time to leave a message we will not know that you called if you do want better, leave us a detailed message. Let us know what questions you have and what listing you're looking at. As soon as we either finish with the customer or return to um, a cellular service area, we will receive your message, return your call, and have all those questions answered for you. If we happen to miss you, we'll leave those answers on your voicemail to just save some uh, phone tag. Um, and additionally, if you send us an email, please check your spam folder. We're very quick about getting our replies out. They're uh, just about always within one business day. Um, usually in, in a matter of a couple hours. So if you send us an email, have not gotten a response back, please be sure to be checking your spam folder as they um, frequently land there. So again, this is the 1971 12 by 35 foot Silver Queen fiberglass hull houseboat slash 193 square foot floating cabin um, that includes this roughly 12 by 37 foot dock. And... Um, connected to shore power this uh, particular uh, location is transferable meaning it can stay right here where it's currently located uh, connect it to shore power and again if you've got any questions please reach out to us and uh, thank you again for joining us you'll uh, at the as this uh, video concludes you'll notice the yournewboat.com logo pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen that's just a shortcut to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already uh, don't know what you're waiting for click that link subscribe to us you'll get notified um, as new listings come available in our area, it's a great way to keep an eye on inventories that come available. If you're looking for something on Norris Lake, or if you really just enjoy uh, killing time when you're at work at your office desk and uh, like daydreaming about the lake, either way, we're always happy to have you as a subscriber. And I thank you again for joining us.